While our procedure was almost identical to the other video on this slide, there were some important differences. Since we were working with a liquid, and a really flammable one at that, we had to take extra steps to ensure both a safe and successful combustion. Firstly, the entire experiment was performed underneath of a fume hood, but the most notable difference in the procedure was that we needed to measure our sample into a cotton ball. If this step wasn't taken, then we probably would have shorted the fuse and never actually had gotten an ignition. This means that even before we could start working with our sample, a sort of calibration run was performed using only a cotton ball with a known mass. This was done so that we could account for the energy change due to the cotton ball in later steps. When adding the sample to the cup, we first needed to weigh the cup on the analytical balance, and then add the cotton ball, and then carefully drop the gasoline into it so that we had about 0.3 grams. We gave a little bit of leeway, about 0.32, just to account for evaporation because the gasoline was so volatile. Because of this, whenever possible, we kept the sample underneath a closed dish. In the other video, they mentioned how they needed to use DI water to wet some of the components in order to get them into place successfully. We never found this step necessary, and so just did everything dry. Lastly, as part of our safety, safety plan, we never pressurized the bomb with more than 15 atmospheres of oxygen. We did trial one at 10 atmospheres just to be extremely safe, and then the second one was done exactly to 15 atmospheres just to keep us well under the limit. It's also worth mentioning the assumptions that were made during this lab, since these formed the basis of how we got our results. The largest assumption we made was that the gasoline we were working with was 100% pure octane. We actually know for a fact that this wasn't true, since it was actually 87 octane that was purchased for the purpose of this lab. Um, and a similar assumption was made for the cotton ball. We assumed that it was 100% cellulose, and since we can't really verify this fact, we just assumed it to be true. We also assumed that the combustion reaction continued until completion, and that no other gases, things like nitrogen or other materials, it affected the combustion process.